my most profitable years in business were not the years that I made the most money. So let's talk about how to successfully budget in your business and determine what you need to be charging so you can increase your profitability. Are you tired of the endless stream of fantasy marketing and vanity metrics? Yeah, so am I. My name is James Patrick, and I'm an internationally published photographer, media specialist, and marketing strategist. I'm also a student of professional development, and like you, I've been left frustrated by all of this influencer-driven generic advice making us think that we are just one course, conference, or manifestation away from the life of our dreams. We need to cut through this crap and move beyond the posturing, beyond the facade, beyond the image to take real action on the real work that will create the real results. This is the Beyond the Image podcast. What is going on? Thank you so much for tuning in to our latest episode of the Beyond the Image podcast. Remember that you can take some time to get a little information and get a little inspiration to help you in your entrepreneurial journey. So I was thinking about all of the expenses that we accrue in business and so many of them that we forget to appropriately budget for. Like, let's say you make $100,000 in a year, but your expenses were $80,000. So at the end of the day, you walked away at $20,000. And can you live or do you want to be able to live off $20,000? And there's no wrong answer to that question. But you need to know this going in so that one, you can build a budget that works for you and two, so that you know where you need to be setting your rates at to be able to have the level of profit that you want to be having in your business. So when we think about like a lot of these expenses, like, and I was just trying to come up with a whole bunch of expenses that, you know, sometimes get overlooked. Like, you know, I could say, well, all right, so I have a CRM software. Let's just say that's 3000 a year. I have a project management software that's around 500 a year. Let me set these cells appropriately. There we go. For those listening to the audio version of the podcast, I'm typing this all out. All right. So I, I host my photos through a gallery. That's about 500 a year. I have Adobe software. Let's, let's just call that one. 20 a year. I do domain hosting, domain and hosting. Let's just say that's 250 a year. Uh, I have a Calendly scheduling service. I, I'm guessing that's 120 a year. I'm just off the top of my head. I have a professional email hosting. Let's call that 240 a year. Um, I own a studio, but let's say you rent a studio. I mean, studio rental can run you anywhere from like the low end 500 a month, you know, the high end 5,000 a month. So let's just think, all right, we'll just go the super low end. That's 500 a month. So 500 times 12, that's 6,000. I'm just calculating annual. Um, and that's just uh, non-tangible expenses. Let's look at like camera gear. I mean, you're probably... 7k in with camera gear that's just cameras um lenses let's just say six thousand eh, probably closer to seven thousand in lenses maybe more um your computer that probably cost you 3500 um your monitors probably cost another 1500 your raid storage system uh, that's another 3500 lighting gear ugh. I mean, that goes on forever. I'm just going to put this at the super low end and say 3000 Okay. Um, and don't forget also then, like you have your payment processor fees, which is like 3% of every transaction that you do. Um, you have sub-consultants, so like photo assistants. And you have digital techs. If you happen to use digital techs, photo editors. If you happen to use photo editors, graphic designers web designers, your accountant. I'm just going to throw out some round numbers here per year. Maybe I spend, I don't know, 
1500 on a graphic designer slash web designer. Uh, maybe I spend a thousand on my photo editor in the year. Digital techs, it's rare I hire digital tech. I'm just gonna put zero. Photo assistance, I probably, you know, 5,000. Okay, so let's just see what this totals out to. $44,000. So 44 grand in expenses. Okay. So if that's where we're at, $44,000 in expenses. Um, let's think about now, okay, if I wanted to make, let's just say, and I'm just going to round this up to 45. If I wanted to make, you know, if my goal was $100,000, Oops. Then my net or my profit would be 55.7. Hey, that's pretty good. I think that's good. I'd be okay on 55.7. Um, and now I can look at, okay, if this is my goal, these are the expenses I budgeted. This is how much I'm going to be left over with. But if I want to be left over with a hundred thousand dollars, well, I need to be in the 150 range. Okay. So let's just use that as an example. Let's just say I need to be in the 150 range. Okay. So now let's look at how we should be calculating our time. Okay. So first look at how many weeks in the year do you want to work or another way to ask that same question is how many weeks of vacation do you want i like four weeks of vacation which leaves 48 weeks left in the year how many days per week do you want to work i work five day weeks and how many hours per day i typically work nine hour days all right we're going to multiply those numbers together 48 weeks times five days a week times nine hours. What that gives me is my available hours for the year. So I want to, I'm willing to work 2,160 hours in the year. Okay. So I need to make Actually, do that math right. Yep. I need to make about $70 an hour to hit my goal. And that's taking the amount of money I want to make. And in this projection, it's $150,000 divided by the available hours I have in the year. And it tells me about $70. I need to make $70 per hour, every hour for 2,160 hours to hit my goal. But now we have to think about this next phase, which is your overhead hours and your billable hours. So your overhead hours, not every hour you're working in the week, you're actually making money. So like I'm recording this podcast right now, yeah, the podcast pays for itself, but it's not putting a lot of money into my business. So I would consider this podcast to be an overhead hour or a marketing hour. Time I'm spending emailing, time I'm spending uh, prospecting, time I'm spending doing research, time I'm spending cleaning my photo studio, time I'm spending um, uh, you know, working on our project management systems, time I'm spending writing proposals. That's all overhead hours. So what percentage of my hours are billable versus not billable? And a, 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 a way you can kind of estimate that is to kind of look at a week and look at your calendar for the week and just start highlighting, okay, which of these hours were overhead hours and which of these hours were actual billable hours, hours where I'm doing work that I'm being paid for that work. And for me, you know, my billable hours kind of ranges, let's 30 to 40%, but let's just say... I'll just go on the super low end just to, just for sake of discussion. So 
of my hours are billable. That means I need to make enough in my billable hours to pay for all my overhead hours. I need to make enough when I'm charging my clients that I can do all my marketing or all my admin or all my bookkeeping or all the cleaning of the studio. So, if I were to look at this, my billable hours are 30% of the 2160, 648 hours. Take the 150,000 divided by 648. So now I actually need to be making $231 per hour during my billable hours. This is how you can set your hourly rates. If I have a project that's going to take two hours of my time, I probably need to be charging around $500. Because I know when I add up all the time that I'm doing billable work, if I'm making around that $230 per hour rate, I'm going to hit my goal of $150,000 that year. So this is how the math works in your favor. So just to backtrack and show again how we got there, the first thing we did was we calculated all the expenses we are anticipating for the year. Hardware, software, contract labor, rent, all of that. Then we didn't determine what we wanted to make just as our, our, our gross, which is the $150,000. We wanted to determine what our net was, what we're walking away with. Well, I wanted to walk away with $100,000. I didn't just want to make $100,000 and have all these expenses and then be left much less than that. I wanted to walk away with $100,000. So. I needed to make 150 in lieu of cutting out expenses, which you can look to see where can I cut expenses. But in lieu of cutting expenses, okay, if I make 150 with $44,000 in expenses, I'll have 105 left over. That's not in counting taxes, take 20% off that. So I'll have like somewhere around 80 something left over. Then we had to calculate what we need to make per hour. So how many weeks do you want to work in the year? I want to work 48 weeks. I want to have four weeks of vacation. How many days per week are you willing to work? Five. How many hours per day are you willing to work? I'm willing to work nine. That gives me 2,160 hours. And just using that, I need to make an average of $69.44 per hour, every hour for 2,160 hours to meet my goal. But not all of my hours are billable hours. So I go through my week over a week or two, and I just calculate how many billable hours I have in a week versus how many overhead hours. And for a lot of us, most of our time is going to be on the overhead side. So billable hours, I found I was around 30% of my time was billable. Well, that gave me actually 648 total hours of billable work in a year, just using that math of 30%. Well, take the $150,000 that I'm trying to make, divided by the 648, and I know that I need to make $231.48 per hour of my billable hours in order to hit that goal. And now whenever I price projects, I can look at, well, how much time is this taking me from the pre-production, the production, the post-production, the scouting, the pulling the team together, anything I'm working on related to this project, if I can keep my rates at or above that 231 per hour rate, I'm going to hit my goal. And this is how we use math in our favor to set a budget and to set a plan for income that we can actually achieve. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. I hope this brought value to you. If you have any questions on it, feel free to send me a message. And uh, by the way, um, Get Published Live passes are going quick. I think our in-person passes are nearly half sold out. Um, virtual passes are still available as well at getpublishedlive.com. Also, we are casting for the Icon of the Year cover search. Uh, it's your chance to land a upcoming cover of Icon Refined Magazine. Details for that and to enter absolutely free are available at iconrefined.com. Thank you so much, and we'll talk to you in the next episode.